Hello, this is Dan, continuing uh, the discussion here. Uh, I've made some videos and hopefully uh, I was able to uh, share some information, some facts and some food for thought to help uh, with those who were shocked with the outcome of the November 8th election and needed to process some emotions. I'm sure there's still people are in different stages of, de of processing that I'm sure but I hope that I was able to share some facts and some ideas to help with that I think it's important to focus on where we are now uh, Senator Bernie Sanders um, has been given a leadership um, role with the, the Democratic Party in terms of outreach he just received that uh, I think the 15th and the 16th of November so he's obviously still trying to figure out exactly what that is going to entail um, and he is an advocate, uh, of course, for, for many issues that uh, Donald Trump and uh, conservatives and Republicans are not. Uh, for instance, on Citizens United, overturning that. Um, he's also an advocate for single-payer health care. Uh, and, of course, you know, uh, climate change, alternative energy production, and sustainable energies uh, systems. Um, whereas... Uh, the Republican Party and Donald Trump really aren't. Uh, there is a potential agreement, though, on uh, renegotiating a bad trade deals so we don't continue to lose so many jobs uh, here in the United States, as well as raising the minimum wage. So there are some ways that, that uh, Bernie Sanders is open to try to work with, with Donald Trump and the Republicans, of course. But he's also very, ad um, very adamant about progressive agenda and he is supporting Keith Ellison as the next uh, leader of the DNC uh, who actually uh, has um, experience um, not only as a U.S. representative from Minnesota but he's also uh, been a member of the Democratic uh, Farmer Labor Party um, and um, so and, and uh, Elizabeth Warren and uh, the Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid are also uh, endorsing uh, Keith Ellison for that position, so we'll see what happens. But here is a quote that I thought was interesting from Bernie Sanders um, when he was at uh, George Washington University speaking on the 17th, um, also talking about his new book, Our Revolution. And this is a quote. I think this is important to um, understand uh, what Bernie's saying here with very strong language. Quote, ordinary people have got to know that the Democratic Party has has the guts to stand up to some very powerful people today whose greed is destroying the middle class and the working class of this country. And if we can't do that, I don't see much of a future for the Democratic Party. Uh, those are pretty strong words. And he, obviously, on his book tour, he's, 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 he's talking as, uh, as he had on the campaign trail running uh, for the uh, nominee of the Democratic Party and at a breakfast uh, conducted by the Christian Science Monitor uh, he responded to a question from uh, USA Today uh, in this way and let's let's listen to this. Action from USA Today. Thank you, Marissa. Senator, uh, looking forward to 2020, uh, could you give us your thoughts about who you think might be your Democratic standard bearer, and if you have any thoughts on Cory Booker? I read the last chapter of my book on corporate media. <laughs> I think this is incredible, and I have to say this in all due respect. Are we already? We haven't inaugurated this president, and we're talking about 2020, because it's easy to write about. What about talking about climate change and whether the planet survives? What about talking about income and wealth inequality in America? What about talking about youth unemployment in African-American communities of 30, 40 percent? What about talking about immigration reform, criminal justice reform? Those are the issues that the American people need to be engaged in. To start talking about who's going to be running in 2080 and look at you. Oh, you look like a good candidate. I mean, how much money do you have? Maybe we'll run you. I mean, I don't mean to be rude, but the American people are tired of that. They really are. They would like to hear serious discussion on serious issues. Who's running in 2020 or 2090 is of concern. And I've got to tell you, people are turning off their TVs. They are tired of, you know, all of that stuff. So I, in all due respect, we got serious problems in this country. 
and let's talk about the serious issues and not worry who's going to be running in four years when we haven't even inaugurated the president who just won. Dan. Food for thought continues. Let's talk in person or in social media. Have a great week.